What is up guys, it's Cal, and in this video we're going to be doing some leveling through pet battles. Since the level squish happened, it left many to wonder whether or not pet battle leveling is viable. So I'm here to test it out so you don't have to. So we'll be leveling from 10 to 50, well, attempting to at least, with pet battling and seeing how fast it really is. So first thing first, we need a good pet battle spot and I know just the place. I decided to get a port from a mage to the Vale of Eternal Blossom since there's a location in the bottom left corner of the map where aquatic battle pets keep spawning and you essentially get an endless supply. So I decided to use Icky, Bloodgazer Hatchling, and Direbeak Hatchling. I wanted to make sure I had flying pets with a stampede-like ability and then a hard-hitting ability to make this smoother. Now keep in mind, as you're level 10, you can't fly, so you have to make it to this location without dying, which is a bit of a task. But once I finally made it, I went to work. I would kill otter after otter after otter. So I continued this for an hour and received a whopping 5 levels, which is enough to tell me, yeah, this isn't worth it. So then I had another idea. I wanted to try this again at level 30, since that's when you get flying now. Therefore, I chose to level in Draenor, you'll see in a minute, to get to 30. Draenor does have fast leveling anyways. So then I went to Orgrimmar to get my level 30 flying, and then I headed back to Draenor. Now Draenor has pet battle quests all over the zone. Well total of six of them. So I wanted to fly around to each of those quests to do them, to see how many levels I could get and see if it was efficient in the slightest. So I started off in Frostfire Ridge, since I played a horde, and headed to Gargra. Now all of these pet battle trainers I faced, I used a team that would allow me to power level a level one pet. So you can do the same if you'd like. Anyways, for Gargra, I used a Sunreaver Sentry and picked the second ability for each column. Then a level one pet, I wanted to power level, and then any level 25 pet. And with the sentry, I would use a supercharge and follow that with a haywire, which would kill Wolfus. Haywire would continue to Fangra, so I'd swap to my level pet, then back to my sentry. I would then supercharge and haywire again to kill Fangra, which would then continue on to Wolfgar. So I would spam fell emulates until my sentry died, and then swap to my level 25 pet and use any hard hitting ability. I used a Dark Moon Tonk with Ion Cannon to defeat Wolfgar, which then leveled my one pet to 10. I then made sure to turn my daily quests in, and it really didn't give me as much XP as I hoped. But I continued anyways to Chimere and Gorgrond. Against Chimere, I used a Crab in the first spot, with its first ability in the first two columns, and then second ability in the last. Then any level 2 plus pet, so I just went with the same pet I used before, and then an infinite Whelpling with the first ability in each column. I started with Whirlpool, then Snap, and then Snap again, and then another Snap, and then a fourth snap, and I took this time to swap to my leveling pet, and then I swapped back to my crab. I used renewing mists, and then a final snap. Then in the idol's death or undead round, I swapped to my infinite whelpling, and uh, casted healing flame, and then just tail sweep until the lantern dies. Once the mechanical pet came in, I used early advantage, and then just tail sweeped until he died. Turn that quest in, and headed down to Shadowman Valley to Ashley. This is one of the easiest fights where you can get the most pet battle experience out of. It can essentially be soloed with a mechanical pandaren dragonling with its first ability in each column then you can pick two leveling pets so first off breath until pixel bell dies then bombing run once doodle comes in and then just spam breath until tally dies now doodle is the only one left and can't even do any damage so use breath until doodle is below 560 health and then explode once that happens and your two back pets reap the rewards of all of the experience i then headed to veshar in the spires of a rock and use chrominius with arcane explosion the other two abilities don't matter and use my mechanical pandaren dragonling with breath 
Thunderbolt and explode. Then a leveling Petacorse. I would just spam Arcane Explosion until Chromineus died, and then I would bring in my Mechanical Pandaren Dragonling and use Breath. Then Thunderbolt, then Breath until the Apexis Guardian resurrected, and then explode so my leveling pet received full experience. I then moved up to Taralune in Talador. So I would start off with any level 5 or above pet in the first slot. Clockwork Gnome with its first ability across the board in the second slot, and then Pandaren Water Spirit in the third slot with Water Jet, Dive, and Geyser. So starting off, I would pass and swap to my Clockwork Gnome and build Turret. Metal Fist would then be interrupted, but then I would use Repair, which continued for two rounds. Then build Turret, follow that with a Metal Fist and another Metal Fist. Then build Turret and Serendipity will die. When Grace comes in, use Metal Fist. Grace will cast Lightning, which will pretty much kill itself. Just keep using Metal Fist till your Clockwork Gnome dies. And then against Atonement, you could just be able to Water Jet it to death with your Water Spirit. Then I headed to the last Battle Pet Trainer in Draenor, Tar. It was located in Nagrand. Against Tar, I used an Unborn Valkyr with its first ability across the board, then a fossilized hatchling with bone bite, ancient blessing, and bone storm. Then a leveling pet of any level. I begin with haunt, then bring out my hatchling, bone storm, ancient blessing, then swap to my leveling pet, and then swap back to my hatchling. Use bone storm again, which should kill off one of the back pets, and then ancient blessing, and then bone bite until gladiator deathy is dead. Against Mercamus, use ancient blessing on cooldown, otherwise just bone bite until your fossilized hatchling dies. And then you can finally bring out your Valkyr to shadow slash it to death. And there we have it. All of the Draenor pet battle trainers dead. And I received a whopping two levels after around a 30 minute period. Not as much as I was hoping for, but I thought, you know what? I'm not going to give up with this strategy yet. There are more pet battle trainers to face off against. So I made my way back to the Veil of Eternal Blossoms since there's a whole plethora of trainers there. 11 to be exact. Now before going through each pet battle trainer and strategy I use, now would be a perfect time to mention the sponsor of this video, Zufu Pet Battle Strategies, who didn't actually sponsor this video, but I've used their site plenty of times when it comes to pet battling. I'll actually put links in the description for all of these pet battle trainers across Pandaria and the exact strategy I used. Zufu Pet Battle Strategies also gives other strats in case you don't have the pets that I have. This video wasn't meant to be a pet battle leveling guy video, but it was, it kind of turned out that way anyways. Now after I completed all of those pet battle trainers across Pandaria, my Vulpira gained another two levels after almost an hour of roaming from zone to zone. So needless to say, this isn't super viable. If I were to do this differently, I'd probably do the bonus objectives across Draenor as I went from one pet battle trainer to the other. That would have at least garnered me a couple more levels. But anyways guys, that's the entire video of whether or not pet battle trainers are viable way to level. Questing just seems like the way to go, or dungeoning if you can queue as a tank or whatever. I did make a separate video on the fastest expansion to level in, if you'd like to check that out. There will be an end slate at the end of the video. But anyways guys, that's the entire video. You can leave a like on it if you found it useful or helpful at all to you. Sub to the channel for videos like this, and I will see you guys in the next video.